Emerging markets have outperformed developed markets over the last 18 months. A lot of the reason for that is the fact that um, investors are starting to get concerned that developed markets are, are looking fair or fully valued and are looking for alternatives. Emerging markets offer a nice alternative because not many people are overweight emerging market equities, so it's an uncrowded place to be invested. Um, emerging markets are enjoying positive earnings revisions, which typically is a good leading indicator of stock market moves. And finally, emerging markets offer tremendous value. They're trading at about a 20 to 30% discount to, to global and to US equities. So you've got that margin of safety when investing in emerging markets. So both our funds, our German Asia X Japan fund, have significant exposure to non-index holdings. The reason we do this is we believe that these are the particularly exciting companies. These are companies which are less well known, less well researched, um, and there's greater price inefficiency in these companies. So that when these companies report strong results, they tend to get rewarded disproportionately and their share prices react very favorably indeed. Our preferred way of coming up with fresh ideas is to go on research trips. So my team and I, we spend a lot of time on the road, traveling to Asia, to LATAM, to EMEA, to look for fresh ideas um, to put into the portfolio. The two funds are very similar in the sense that they're managed by the same team, we have the same investment process, and yet we've got two funds with geographical differences, but otherwise they're very similar. We believe having a concentrated portfolio is, is appropriate because we want to give ourselves the best opportunity to outperform. Having around 40 stocks in both the GEM fund and the Asia fund strikes the right balance. Too few stocks, and you're taking too much stock-specific risk, too many stocks in the portfolio and you're ultimately too diversified and will struggle to outperform the benchmark. Well, both our GEM and our Asia Fund are bottom-up funds, so we look for ideas on a case-by-case -case basis. At the moment, we are overweight China in both funds. We can find a lot of interesting opportunities um, in the tech space, in the financial space, both banks and insurance, um, in the industrial space in China, as well as in some of the consumer areas. Um, so that's one of the reasons why we're overweight in China. The market as a whole is also quite inexpensive. Um, in Thailand, we have one holding in Thailand, which actually means we're overweight. It's a, it's a property company that is benefiting from certain government initiatives. So everything's on a case-by-case, bottom-up perspective. But at the same time, we do need to be cognizant of political risk and macroeconomic conditions within the markets. So as long as our bottom ideas to, to a large extent marry our top-down views, then we're very happy to take large active weights in these stocks. We are bullish on emerging markets from a long-term perspective. After all, more than 80% of the world's population live in emerging market countries, um, and emerging market countries account for close to 60% of the world's economy, and yet they're massively underrepresented in financial markets. So we believe that that disconnect will normalize over time. Plus, we believe that there's a large and growing middle income group in emerging markets which is only going to get bigger, which will really drive domestic consumption and will mean that emerging market countries on the whole are less reliant on producing products, for example, to sell to the West. So for, for those reasons um, and for others, we believe that emerging markets offer very good long-term investment opportunities. Our investors on the whole typically have a preference. Um, a lot of investors are very biased towards and favour Asia, in which case our Asia fund makes a lot of sense. For other investors they want to have slightly more diversification. Um, and there are tremendous opportunities in Latin America and in EMEA, Europe, Middle East and Africa, in which case our, our GEM, our Global Emerging Market Fund, is more appropriate for those investors. Um, so we offer both, both strategies. <laughs>